The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain with us always, and may the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Remember your compassion, O Lord, and your merciful love, for they are from of old. Let not our enemies exult over us. Redeem us, O God of Israel, from all our distress. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. As you know, Wednesday's uh, my day off, but I decided that I did want to say Mass today, so I've just made use of the little chapel that I was using uh, for much of the first part of the lockdown. I uh, invite you to join me in praying for all people of the parish. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. Look kindly, Lord, we pray, on the devotion of your people, that those who by self-denial are restrained in body may, by the fruit of good works, be renewed in mind, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jonah. The word of the Lord was addressed to Jonah. Up, he said, go to Nineveh, the great city, and preach to them as I told you to. Jonah set out and went to Nineveh in obedience to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was a great city beyond compare. It took three days to cross it. Jonah went on into the city, making a day's journey. He preached in these words. Only forty days more and Nineveh is going to be destroyed. And the people of Nineveh believed in God. They proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest to the least. The news reached the king of Nineveh, who rose from his throne, took off his robe, put on sackcloth, and sat down in ashes. A proclamation was then promulgated throughout Nineveh by a decree of the king and his ministers as follows. Men and beasts, herds and flocks, are to taste nothing. They must not eat. They must not drink water. All are to put on sackcloth and call on God with all their might. 
and let everyone renounce his evil behaviour and the wicked things he has done. Who knows if God will not change his mind and relent, if he will not renounce his burning wrath, so that we do not perish. God saw their efforts to renounce their evil behaviour, and God relented. He did not inflict on them the disaster which he had threatened. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A humbled, contrite heart, O God, you will not spurn. A humble, contrite heart, O God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offence. O wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. A humbled, contrite heart, O God, you will not spurn. A pure heart create for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. A humble, contrite heart, O God, you will not spurn. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humble, contrite heart, you will not spurn. A humble, contrite heart, O God, you will not spurn. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The crowds got even bigger and Jesus addressed them. This is a wicked generation. It is asking for a sign. The only sign it will be given is the sign of Jonah. For just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. On Judgment Day, the Queen of the South will rise up with the men of this generation and condemn them, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and there is something greater than Solomon here. On Judgment Day, the men of Nineveh will stand up with this generation and condemn it, because when Jonah preached, they repented, and there is something greater than Jonah here. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer to you, O Lord, what you have given to be dedicated to your name, that just as for our benefit you make these gifts a sacrament, so you may let them become for us an eternal remedy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in our kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Plenius Uncelli et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Richard our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. Receptus salutaribus manis, he et divina resuscitione formati, adhemus picere, pater nostra prius in celis, sanctifice tua nomen tuum, adveni et regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cela ho et in terra, panem nostrum quotidianum, da nobis hodie, Et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducats in tentationem, sed libera nos amalos. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. On your stay, quit all its peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On your stay, quit all its peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On your stay, quit all its peccata mundi. Donna Nobis Pahachan. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. All who take refuge in you shall be glad, O Lord, and ever cry out in their joy, and you shall dwell among them. Let us pray. O God, who never cease to nourish us by your sacrament, grant that the refreshment you give us through it may bring us unending life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.